Well, hello there, and welcome to Cool's Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here at the Grand Lodge of the great state of Virginia. Did I say state? I believe it's a commonwealth. <laughs> let's let's get that straight to begin with. We're going to go in here and take a tour of their facility. Uh, I did find out they don't have a lodge room. They don't actually meet here for lodge rooms, but they do have a, uh, uh, a history center and a library, so I'm take you through that. So I'm just out here living the Cool's Life, Masonic Edition. So right now I'm here in the uh, uh, museum type area is what they have here. And they've got a lot of artifacts to include. You see a lot of pictures around the room of uh, past grand masters for the Commonwealth of Virginia. And let me turn this around. So you... This is uh, one of the original uh, secretary's desk that was at the, uh, the old location from back in the 60s. as the last time basically this one was used. You can see it's in excellent condition. You can tell it's definitely been kept well and and kept in a place that doesn't get a lot of heat or or cold to it because it's uh it's definitely in a really good condition. How old would you say this one is, Brother Jones? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's got some age on it, huh? Yeah, it's got some age on it for sure. Brother Jones here is a, a past grandmaster uh, and also the current general secretary for Virginia. From 1894. 1894. Wow. You can see in here they've got a lot of uh, uh, artifacts in here for uh, for dining, some glasses, commemorative plates. Plates are really popular. Uh, not so much this day and age, but but you see them every now and then. It's still not uncommon to see plates. Uh, we were just in a lodge that had a whole set of something like these that they actually use for uh, special events. I use them two or three times a year. That would be the one in uh, West Point. I've always liked the different kinds of gavels. You can see this one here is actually a, like a polyurethane type of plastic. And uh, I know uh, in Rose Hill Lodge in Columbus, Georgia, they've got two polyurethane, actually three polyurethane gavels. Um, you can see that one there is definitely cut out of a piece of wood. And there's always differences. And they say back in the day, the, uh, the aprons that you see here, they were curved. But they found out as time goes on that they're a lot easier to mass produce if they're not curved. So they say that's why you see more and more masons today that their aprons are actually squared. <laughs> like, like mine is. <laughs> And a lot of times when you go into lodges that they have free uh, uh, aprons for you to wear because you don't have an apron, you didn't bring an apron. Because most people don't carry around an apron, don't carry their apron unless they're a past master of a lodge. But uh, everyone is given an apron, but not everyone typically wears that one when they visit lodges. But they're all normally square. Like you would see this one here. There's a past master apron. And there's a nice can in there. Another gavel. I love the different gavels because there's, and it's like they've got a, this is kind of set up like a lodge room. You know, by some of my other videos, how the differences you'll see the, uh, we spoke once before about the, the different, uh, the, 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 the different columns that you see here in Florida. They're, they tend to be different sizes. I don't know why they're not all the same size and no one could tell me while I was there, but I promise you I'm going to figure that out one day, uh, this winter while I'm back down in Florida. That's a good size gavel there. Elephant walking stick. That's another good size gavel there. A lot of your larger gavels like these would normally that I've seen are travel gavels. So you go to a you go to a lodge and you got five brothers from another lodge that are visiting and they would get that gavel to take it back to their lodge and it encourages visitation between lodges. And you know what that one there is? George Washington Masonic National Memorial. Actually, I think I got two videos of that one. One more recently. I'll I'll put that I'll put that video up in here so you can you can take a look at it. I've got a lot more aprons. You don't see too many that are the triangles. The There's memorial a few. will be celebrating 100 years. Oh, is that right? Yeah, next uh, February. At the George Washington. Mm -hmm. That that would be when you say next. You talking about this coming February? Yes. 
And the North American Conference is going to be hosted by the Grand Lodge of Virginia, and we're going to reenact the laying of the cornerstone. Oh, nice. When we see a picture of the laying the cornerstone in a lot of lodges, you see the picture of the of the supposed act. I'm sure it was, yeah. they weren't taking pictures then, but. <laughs> we got some items here from uh, Shrine. Is a, uh, because Zim, is, Zim is, that a, is that a local shrine here? Is that for Richmond or? Uh, you know? That's not a Richmond shrine, but it is a Virginia shrine. Yes. Okay, gotcha. That's our shrine here in Richmond. Okay. And I heard that the uh, Scottish Rite actually had a location, but now they've sold it or something like that. We are in the process of selling it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but the building's kind of empty. <laughs> Sadly. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to try to get a tour of it, but it was a. Uh, that's a nice mural there. Heritage of the Challenge. Grand Lodge of Virginia. And there's some, some more gavels set up here. And this is our first chart, 1820. Definitely Masonic symbolisms and all that. If you don't know those Masonic symbolisms, then you should probably become a Mason. So you can't learn those things. <laughs> just a beautiful room and uh this guy here looks vaguely familiar <laughs> i don't know why could be because that's him right there <laughs> that's good <Exactly. laughs> well, we're going to take a look at some of these other parts of this building right now well, they do have a library here um uh, lots of older uh pieces and there's this 1799 1826 1820 some nice older pieces. They definitely have some some newer pieces uh, in here. I think we recently saw a library in, um, we were at the, uh, I'll put a link to the video, where we were at the Scottish Rite uh, House of the Temple. They've got a really nice library there too. Definitely got a lot of books and looks like they've got other stuff besides just books. Maybe some manuscripts, some videos. Interesting. It's a nice setup though. Well, that was a good visit to the Grand Lodge of uh, Virginia. The uh, uh, most worshipful past Grand Master, uh, Doug Jones, gave me a tour. He was a uh, past Grand Master last year, actually. Uh, or should I say Grand Master last year, so he's past Grand Master this year. He's the current sitting secretary. He, say, he said he's there just as a transition because the gentleman before him that uh, retired was there for 25 years and one prior to him was 25 years and he wasn't doing 25 years <laughs> but uh he's definitely there as a transition um the uh, uh the grand lodge is actually sits on the grounds of the masonic home of virginia the masonic home of virginia is not a children's home it's actually an adult facility which is here and they've also got housing that's around here that people can live in but they must be masons from what I gather. So, interesting. So basically it's a Masonic community. Uh, true, true Masonic community. But uh, they also had a York Rite building. I went in the York Rite building and no one was there to really give me a tour. A door inside of it was locked, so I didn't give you anything on that. But we did get to go here and it was a good time. If you get a chance to come here, uh, you know, you like Masonic history, they've got some really nice things inside their, their museum there you really need to check out all you need to do is give them a call send them an email the general secretary and uh they'll make sure you get in he'll put your name on the list so that they can buzz you in because this place here is secured there's a fence going all the way around it, and it's a good sized fence too you ain't climbing over it maybe you could but if you were a ninja but that's about it but uh be sure to like and subscribe be sure to send this to your friends who are interested in the grand lodge of virginia and what's going on inside of there no lodge room but they got some uh, some history in a museum in a uh, some history in the museum and a library but be sure to check it out uh, but let me let you go and take care because i'm just out here living the coolest life masonic edition <laughs>